with Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that's going on on YouTube. And uh, it's kind of disturbing, in a sense. And it's misleading. Um, unless there is certain criteria that you do meet. Now, what I'm talking about is there's a lot of videos that are circulating out there. And they're saying that the government is coming for your preps, for all your supplies, the food that you've put up, uh, your emergency supplies, and everything else. And I do not believe that that's going to take place. That is not what they said in the press conference the other day. <clears throat> they're not interested in coming to uh, take your few canned goods that you may have and... Uh, uh, a lot of us preppers, we have a very diverse um, food storage, if you want to call it that. Not all your apples are in one basket. So what I'm meaning to say is, yes, we do have, you know, you probably have canned goods. You probably have your dried goods as far as... Um, your macaroni and cheese, your pastas, all types of pastas, your rice, your dried beans, um, things of that nature. You may also have things that you have dry canned yourself and put in like mason jars or you, that you have canned yourself from your garden and put into mason jars for longer type food storage. And then as something to fall back on in the event, um, you go into your freeze-dried foods, which would be your, like your mountain house and things of that nature uh, when your other supplies have uh, ran out. Um, we all have freezers. We all have freezers with meat in them. Um, right now, name somebody in this country that doesn't. Look at all these people that were hoarding, were preppers, remember that. They were hoarding in these grocery stores. I literally saw people with grocery carts full of meat and chicken and everything else like it was the end of the world with four or five of the huge rolls of uh, packs of toilet paper. You know, if in the beginning, all these companies would have limited everything when they saw this starting we wouldn't be in the situation we're in now but now they are doing that but now it's too late now let's say you're a prepper and you have a warehouse full of all kinds of goodies and you are one of these Amazon sellers where you sell to Amazon or sell off Amazon or eBay and you have a very large stockpile of certain items that the government might seem interested in, then you probably should be aware because they know who you are. So in that token, what I would suggest is, is you wanna to try to get rid of that product as fast as possible, either throw it on eBay, try to sell it on Amazon, um, however you can do it. If you have a website, reduce some prices and sell it. Um, this way here, they're not coming knocking at your door trying to liquidate any type of stock that they may deem essential. So today's video was just a quick video on this subject. And I'm pretty disappointed in a lot of the people that have put these videos out there that all of us preppers have to be aware and that they're going to come and take all of our stuff. I'm not into this fear, um, putting fear into everybody over something that isn't going to happen. Um, if I bring you something or if I talk to you about something, I'm going to have uh, perfectly good documentation to state that and you will only get the true information from my channel survival preparedness for beginners for I believe that is what it is all about I try to be fair I try to make sure I do my homework I research things online 
and evidently some of these people aren't doing quote totally all their homework so on that note everybody out there take a chill pill um, unless you're one of the people that like I described um, I don't think you got anything to worry about you know the government's not going to be coming knocking on your door to take 10 cans of green beans and you know 15 cans of uh, tomatoes that you put up and uh, uh, your box of mountain house emergency supply food it's not gonna happen they're gonna go for the big people and you all know who you are the people with huge stockpiles of supplies that they deem it's an interest so on that note my name is Charles if anybody's got any comments or anything please put them in the comment section below this is survival preparedness for beginners and until next time I'll catch you on the flip side.